we expect that along your journey, there are places where you're gonna need help. And we are there to help and we're excited to help you. So let me show you how to use the help site that is integrated into the CS125 website. So um, during scheduled hours, so the first thing you need to do is check to see if the help site is open. So you'll see tomorrow, for example, uh, we have some office hours during the day and then the help site is open typically Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, this semester from six to 10 p.m and then on the weekends from 12 to 8. So you'll see next Saturday and next Sunday. We do have homework problems on the weekends. Um, and once you start working on the machine project, you'll also want to use that time as well. So this is the, the way that we provide one-on-one -on -one support for you in CS125. If you have a question that you can ask in a group, or if you have a general question about the project or a homework problem that can be asked in a group setting, please come to our office hours um, that are held during the day. That's another chance to get that type of help. But there are times when you need to show somebody some code, you have a question that isn't appropriate in a group setting, that's what the help site is for. So here's what you do. Go to the website, uh, go over here to help. Uh, okay, I'm gonna pretend to be a student here. Um, please enter a descriptive uh, uh, title for what you need help with. Like, uh, I need, um, I'm struggling with homework zero or something like this, right? Uh, hit go. Uh, what that's going to do is that's going to put me now into a video conferencing room, okay? Um, you'll notice that there's some guidelines over there on the right side of the screen. Please read those. Um, and there's also a, a, a sign that there are zero students that have been waiting longer than me. So I'm first in the, on the list at this point, okay? Now, uh, bear with me for a minute. I'm going to jump over here into the staff view. Um, and so at some point, uh, TA, using this interface, who's on duty is going to notice, oh, hey, you know, uh, somebody needs help with something, and they'll join the call. Um, and then what you're going to see is I'm now helping myself. Ooh, and there's going to be some terrible echo here, so I'm going to get off this right away. There we go. Um, if no one's on the help site, so I just logged off as a staff member, uh, your, your help request is canceled at that point because there's nobody there to help you. But that's a general idea of how this works. It's designed to be very simple for students. Um, when we have large numbers of students who are waiting for help, it can sometimes take a while for us to get around to helping. So I would encourage you, while you're on the help site, uh, ask on the form if that's possible, if you can ask your question in a general way. Um, if there's any other way for you to get help, the form is really the best option, right? Where you can discuss you know, things that you're struggling with. You might say, I'm, I'm seeing this error message. Can someone help me understand what's going wrong? Um, that's a perfectly okay thing to do on the form. Posting code uh, and, and asking for help that way on the form is not okay. That's what the help site is for. Um, so the help site office hours start this week. Um, if you need help with the first set of programming problems, please come join us. Or if you just want to say hi, um, there's always some interesting people lurking around the help site, uh, you know, staff that you might not expect show up from time to time. Um, and it's sort of a fun chance for us to, uh, you know, get together in a way and interact with each other in a way sort of face to face, even when we can't be together. So uh, if you have questions on this, uh, please ask on the forum. Uh, if you have problems with the help site in terms of you think that it's not working properly for you, uh, please also ask on the forum and, and we'll sort things out. Um, this is a really important component of the class for you to use and understand how to use uh, because it's one of the primary ways that we can help you in a one-on-one -on -one setting.